Victoria here from Bella Crafts. I'm here today to make with you our projects from our little doodle project pack. Um, this month we're doing fruits and veggies, so I'm going to be making with you our little watermelon bunting that we have just here. Um, okay, so we've got everything that we need here to make our watermelon bunting. Um, so we've got our little yarn that comes in our pack, we've got our little doilies, we've got some pink green and black paint and um, we are going to need a little cotton bud for this one as well which again should be in your pack. So we're going to start off painting our first little watermelon here. So we're going to use our pink paint in the middle. So I'm going to start off doing this bit and I'm just going to start going right round the edge first and then I'm going to fill in the middle bit. And this is like the middle of our nice juicy watermelon. There we go, and I'm trying to make sure that there's no gaps there. Like so. Just going to neaten up that edge a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to wash the pink off my brush and we're going to switch to our green. So this is going to be the outside of our watermelon, so this is going to make the skin. There we go. Now you might want to make sure that your table is covered when you're painting this one because the doilies have got little holes in, it is impossible not to make a mess with this one. Okay, there we go. So that's our pink and our green done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little cotton bud and I'm just going to dip the end into the black paint like so. So we don't need very much, just a tiny bit. And we're going to use that to create little seeds. So I'm just going to blob it down onto my pink bit. So these seeds just go on the pink. When I start to run out of paint, I'm just going to dip it back in the black and then I'm just going to do a few more little circles like so. So there's my first little watermelon. So I'm going to put this one just up out the way just to let it dry and then we are going to do the same things with all of the others. all of our watermelons painted so we just need to let these dry for a little bit now um, so we're just going to leave them for probably about 15 minutes or so maybe you could snack on a little piece of watermelon whilst you're waiting and then we will come back and we will glue them all together all right see you guys in a minute Okay, so our watermelons are nice and dry now. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to stick in our little um, yarn piece here, which is going to make the kind of ribbon for our bunting. So all I'm going to do is kind of lay that just in the centre there. Um, now, you can do yours with a bit more of a gap if you want to. So with mine, when I laid them out, I just had a bit more of a gap here. But for these ones, I'm going to do them just close together. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take some glue just across the middle 
and then you want to get your glue right up to the edge of your doily here okay um, you shouldn't need too much glue um, these are really thin so they should stick together really nice and easily but just make sure you kind of get it right up around those edges and then once you've done that you can just fold that one up in half until the edges meet and we're just going to do that right the way along all of our little doily shapes all stuck together so once you've got this done and all your glue is really nice and dry you can hang this up somewhere nice where everybody can admire it at home so thank you so much for joining us for this video guys i don't know if you've seen but on your little how-to sheets we've also got a little recipe that you can have a go at making if you fancy with a watermelon so have some fun with that we'd love to know what you think and we shall see you at the next video okay bye